。同学们好，今天我们来学习第一百二十七课 ，Lesson One Hundred and Twenty Seven, A Famous Actress. We'll look at a story about the famous actress Carrie Marsh. 这个小故事是和一位著名的女演员 Carrie Marsh 有关的。好，一起来看课文，并且回答这样一个问题。Who is only twenty nine, and why is it so unclear? 谁只有二十九岁？为什么这件事情如此的含糊不清 ？Can you recognize that woman, Liz? I think I can, Kate. It must be Karen Marsh, the actress. I thought so. Who's that beside her? That must be Conrad Reeves. Conrad Reeves, the actor. It can't be. Let me have another look. I think you're right. Isn't he her third husband? No, he must be her fourth or fifth. Doesn't Karen Marsh look old? She does, doesn't she? I read she's twenty-nine, but she must be at least forty. I'm sure she is. She was a famous actress when I was still at school. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? Not that long ago. I'm not more than twenty-nine myself. 下面请大家回答这个问题 Who is only twenty-nine? No one, probably. And then, why is it so unclear? Because they all want to seem younger than they really are. Karen Marsh and Liz 都声称自己只有二十九岁，但事实上他们远不止这个年龄。这样说是因为他们想让自己看起来更年轻一些。你答对了吗？好，下面一起来看本课的关键词和词组，请跟我读。Key words and expressions: famous, actress, at least, actor. 我们在前面学到过男警察、女警察的说法 ，policeman、policewoman， 以及男主人、女主人的说法 ，host、hostess。ess 是一个多指女性的名词性后缀。一起来看本课的主要语言点。Can you recognize that woman, Liz? I think I can, Kate. Liz， 你认得出那位女士吗？我想我能 ，Kate。如何表达我想我不能呢 ？I don't think I can. 请大家注意 ，I think 后面的句子中，如果表达的是否定的含义，那么这个否定的形式要前移。举个例子来说，我想我不能，我们不能说成 I think I can't， 而要说 I don't think I can. It must be Carrie Marsh, the actress. 那一定是女演员 Carrie Marsh。The actress 说明了 Carrie Marsh 的职业。Must be, must be 在英语中表示根据事实所做的推论，可以翻成一定是。那么如何表达不可能是呢？我们可以用 can't be 这种说法。I thought so. 我也这样想。这句话说的是刚才做出的判断，所以用了过去时。再来看两个含有 must be 的句子。It must be cold outside. 外面一定很冷。They must be thirsty. 他们一定是渴了。这两个句子都是一种推测，但是语气上非常的肯定。Who's that beside her? That must be Cora Reeves. 她旁边的那个人是谁？一定是 Cora Reeves. That 在这代替的是 that man. Must be 一定是。但是 Kate 不同意 Liz 的推测，她是怎么表达的呢 ？It can't be， 不可能是他。再来看两个含有 can't be 的句子。He can't be watching television， 他不可能正在看电视。They can't be late， 他们不可能迟到。那么 Cora Reeves 是什么人呢 ？Isn't he her third husband？ No， he must be her fourth or fifth。Cora Reeves 难道不是她的第三任丈夫吗？不，她一定是第四任或者第五任。Must be 表示一种语气非常肯定的推测。
Doesn't Karen Marsh look old? Karen Marsh 看起来真老啊。Look 是一个系动词，意思是看起来，后面加上形容词。比如说 ，You look happy today. 你今天看起来很高兴。Doesn't Mary look sad? Mary 看起来很伤心，不是吗 ？She does, doesn't she? She does 是一种省略的说法。如果完整的说，就是 She does look old. I read she's twenty nine, but she must be at least forty. Read 在这表示从报纸或者杂志上看到。我从报上看到她只有二十九岁，但她一定至少有四十岁了。At least 至少。那么如何表达最多呢 ？At most. Liz 做出这样的判断是因为 she was a famous actress when I was still at school. 在 Liz 还在上学的时候 ，Carrie Marsh 已经是一位很有名的女演员了。Kate 说 ，That was a long time ago, wasn't it? 那是很久以前的事情了，不是吗 ？Liz 对于这样一个判断感到很不满意，所以她说 ，Not that long ago， 没有那么久吧。That 在这是一个副词，在课文中斜体印刷表示强调。来看一个例句 ：The French test was very difficult, wasn't it? Well, not that difficult. 法语考试很难，不是吗？嗯，没有那么难。I'm not more than twenty-nine myself. Liz 说，我自己还没有二十九岁呢。Not more than， 不多于。本课的重点是如何表达根据事实所做的推论。好，下面我们一起来总结一下本课的基本句型。Can't be， 不可能是。Must be， 一定是。来看几个例句。She can't be French. She must be Italian. 她不可能是法国人，她一定是意大利人。He can't be a mechanic. He must be an engineer. 他不可能是机械师，他一定是一位工程师。在这些句子当中 ，can't be、must be 都是表示推测的，请大家不要把它们和表示能力的情态动词 can 以及表示必须、不得不的情态动词 must 混淆。下面我们再来看一遍课文，请大家跟读，并且注意 Liz 和 Kate 是怎样来表达他们的推测，一定是和不可能是的。Can you recognize that woman, Liz? I think I can, Kate. It must be Karen Marsh, the actress. I thought so. Who's that beside her? That must be Conrad Reeves. Conrad Reeves, the actor. It can't be. Let me have another look. I think you're right. Isn't he her third husband? No, he must be her fourth or fifth. Doesn't Karen Marsh look old? She does, doesn't she? I read she's twenty-nine, but she must be at least forty. I'm sure she is. She was a famous actress when I was still at school. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? Not that long ago. I'm not more than twenty-nine myself. 下面我们进入句型训练，来练习一下在更多的场合中如何来表达我们的推测。Lesson one hundred and twenty-eight. He can't be. He must be. Ill. Tired. He can't be ill. He must be tired. New, old. It can't be my new hat. It must be my old one. Danish, Swedish. She can't be Danish. She must be Swedish. Dentist. Doctor. He can't be a dentist. He must be a doctor. Forty, 
fifty. She can't be forty. She must be fifty. Twentieth, twenty-first. 指日期的时候，我们用 it 做主语。It can't be the twentieth. It must be the twenty-first. Youngest, oldest. He can't be the youngest. He must be the oldest. Reading, sleeping. He can't be reading. He must be sleeping. Cheap, expensive. This television can't be cheap. It must be expensive. Student, teacher. He can't be a student. He must be a teacher. 今天我们学习了如何表达根据事实所做的推测 ，can't be 不可能是 ，must be 一定是。can't be 和 must be 的语气都非常的肯定，而且他们所做的推测都是针对一般性的情况、目前的状况或者正在发生的动作。对于过去的推测，我们将在下个教学单元中学到。好了，今天的课就到这了。Thank you and goodbye. My U 网，三 W 点 M O R E E D U 点 com。My U 给您更多的学习。